What to do, my people? It's that time of the week again. Walking Dead, this episode three, Monsters. That's the name of it. Uh, so my thoughts on this, I'm going to try and hit it from a, a intellectual level. Like Other than just giving like every little detail of the show like I normally do. Normally, I'd give like a synopsis of the episode. That's not really worth watching. But what, what I'm going to surmise from this episode right here, from an intellectual standpoint, this was about, from the, from the writer's perspective, this was about morality. And a, a, a lot of stuff has to do with, with morality and how you deal with certain things or whatever. But what I think from this episode, what they're trying to, to paint is, especially with, with Morales, him and him and Rick conversation, uh, let me let me backtrack. I want to apologize for last week because I said he was with, he was uh originally with the Mexican people that was in the city, but I was wrong. He was with the original group with Rick and Shane and all of them when they was out in the lit country, the lit outposts or whatever. They was by the lit quarry or whatever. He was there and he left to go with his family another another place. So I apologize for that. I was wrong. With, with what I, I said, who I said the person was. But anyways, back to their conversation. Like, basically what he was saying, he was like, we the same people. We just been in different circumstances. And the Savior seen something in me, they saved me. You you did what you had to do to survive. They did what they did have to survive. I did what I had to do to survive. Basically, everybody is just in survival mode right now. And... What makes a good guy or a bad guy? Like, the saviors, they trying to live just like anybody else. The only difference between them and Rick's group, we've been following them since the beginning. We've been watching them. We've been watching them through the ups and downs and fighting and stuff. Saviors been going through this basically the same thing. They, they've been dealing with things a different way. We paint them as the bad guys because they kill some of our favorite characters. They kill Abraham and Glenn and stuff. But... From different standpoints, Rick and them went to Terminus. Shit, they fucked the Terminus people up. They went to other outposts. They fucked all them, them people up. Oh, I've been trying. I was trying not to cuss. But uh, people tried to do bad things to them. But then certain times, Rick and them might have killed somebody just because they was feeling a certain kind of way. Carl killed a little boy for no reason back in the days. She, uh... They, they have like a, like an execution thing on this episode. It's like the people gave up. We, we're not going to kill them. We're going to try to do better. And a lot of times in the episode, they're trying to do that. But then they have certain moments where they don't do it. Like Morgan killed somebody when he's chasing the people. He was about to kill all of them. Uh, homegirl, I can't think of her name right now. Tara, she wants to kill the people so bad. She wants to kill them like, like Ice-T on the... Uh, on New Jack City, I'm gonna shoot you so bad, my. You know what I'm talking about, but uh, that's that's a lot of of the episode, man. It's a lot of stuff like that. People dealing with certain things, and and like they bringing the people. Gregory, that mother sucker right there, he gonna he gonna show up to the hilltop and oh I I with a sob story. They let him in. He's not. I don't want to say he's not a threat. He's not to be trusted. He a rat. But they tried to do the moral thing and don't want to just leave my dad to die. But he doesn't deserve any better. But it might come back. It's probably going to come back to bite him in the ass. But they have all them people that they bring in and they're they going to be prisoners. So they doing kind of the moral thing, the moral right thing. Uh, and some other times, like at the end of the episode, Rick is trying to do the thing. If 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 our word don't mean nothing, with him, with nothing matters, or whatever, you, your word got to stand for something. And so he was. Good. Rick was really gonna let homeboy go, and Daryl just came up, pow, and just killed him. And the same thing with Morales. Rick didn't want that man to die, cause he knew where he was coming from. They was fighting. He was fighting to survive. He was doing what he had to do. So. Rick, Rick was being honest. He was like, I would have tried to find another way, but Morales didn't believe him. But 
Daryl, on the other hand, Daryl came through and just killed him. So, they had a lot of that in the episode, man. It's like, if you think about it, what's a good guy and a bad guy in this day and age and these times? Like, you don't know what people have been through to do what they're doing. Hey, Morgan is doing a lot of stuff. Him and Jesus had a nice fight. The two kung fu people on the show on the same team go fight against each other. So, I thought I had finished watching UFC last night, but they had more UFC tonight. Uh, with Jesus and Jesus and Morgan, they had a, had a good scrap. But, like, the reason why we don't see Morgan as a monster is because we seen what he went through. We seen him, he lost his son and he was clearing and he tried to get himself together. He tried to be be moral and not kill and then now he's back on killing and stuff like that. So we don't see him as just a monster. We see Negan as, as a monster in Dwight and them. With, with Dwight, he's trying to, to make up for lost time and trying to help the group. But we don't know what those people been through per se. So for us to just judge them, hey, that's that's just what the show what the show is. This episode it, it kind of make you think. But at the end of the day, F the saviors. I hope they, I, I don't hope they kill them all and stuff. But I hope they they topple them and they win. But uh, I know a lot of people are on the the other side of the spectrum. Like when you watch the polls and stuff, everybody's like, they should have killed the saviors. Like, I'm on the other end of the spectrum. I'm like, now nah, I think of all them times where they had Negan cornered, they should have killed him. But sometimes, killing isn't the, isn't the best thing, man. They, they try, they, they supposed to be good guys. The, the group that we watch, Rick's group, is supposed to be good. So it's supposed to be come from some kind of mora moralic standpoint. They supposed to have some kind of morals to keep society going. But in this day and age, Morality kind of almost out the window, but then if it goes out the window completely, it just it's just gonna be a madhouse, man. If if they don't have no set rules and nobody believes in anything anymore, what's to stop anybody from just just being like the walkers, man? You just killing that wheel and taking what you want and doing whatever. Ain't nobody safe at that point, and nobody pretty much safe now. But they trying to get society kind of back, so. That's my thoughts on the episode, man. I know I had, I was all over the place, a lot of ranting. Hopefully, I didn't go as long as I normally do. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest or the most hated. Peace out. Shit. Hopefully, hopefully they get it together uh, on the episode. That was crazy. My last little point. Uh, they made it through the whole episode. Nobody died with uh, with Ezekiel's group, with the Kingdom group. And shit, he was so happy. He was like, yes. And shit, they start getting murked at the end. So we're going to see what's, what's up with that next episode. I kind of want to see what, what Negan and Gabriel is going on with them. But we'll see. I'll let you boy.